<laughs> so, Peter, so. Peter, your mic's not working. I'm just gonna go to Chantal. <laughs> Chantal, go ahead. Welcome, welcome to this spooky Halloween day here on the Travel Channel with I am Bobby Ward, with Louise Poppy, and with myself in Paris. So I'm in Paris, Louise is in Auckland, and Bobby is in Montreal. And we all three will be showing our most haunted place in our city. So um, as you can see, I'm looking out to the sand. That's not what I'm gonna show to you guys, but who wants to start? Bobby, uh, Louise, what do you like to introduce? Louise, please go ahead. Uh, Louise, me, I... you start. Yeah, you start. Where are we, Louise? Okay, kia ora. Can everybody hear me? Does it sound okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Well, it's Thursday here in New Zealand, as you can see, Rapari, Thursday. It's a misty, cloudy, spooky kind of day and it's 8 a.m. And I'm gonna walk you down here to the most haunted house we have here in Auckland. So, <laughs> it starts to get a bit spooky as you approach the corner. The corner is Dickens Street. And you can see here behind these trees, whoa, even the trees are spooky. They're coming out to meet me. They're coming, They're coming out coming. to greet me. <laughs> yeah. So. If you're living in one of these houses here, and I'd better be quiet because I don't want to wake the neighbours up. Mr. Bill, fantastic. If you're living in one of these houses, often at night, you'll hear the sound of children screaming. So, and why is that? Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> Just like that. Because in 1912, there was a fire here in the building. In fact, the building was built many years about 25 years before that but as you approach it the sound of children screaming can be heard there was a fire in the building in 1912 and 42 of the little darlings were killed how many of them 42 oh 42 or 40 43 oh, i so think it's 43 on my on my uh on okay my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my so there's a huge fire check. here and it was caused caused by an unattended candle so of course wow. we wouldn't be having candles and curtains in these sort of places now. So this tree here has actually grown in memory of the children. You'll see their faces in the tree. You'll see oh, all wow. their little faces. Oh wow. Whoa. I am just like, whoa. <laughs> One of them's even been having a drink. There's a little bottle that's been popped in there. <laughs> But you can see that you can see their faces, yeah. Ooh. Oh wow! And then here's so the old here's the old building. Also, when you're walking past at night, you can hear the pitter patter of little feet. So, oh, wow. this is shall, actually, uh, shall, yeah. Shall yeah. I pick it over now and show a little bit of my oh, uh, yeah 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 my location? Okay. Because perfect, perfect. My, my location is actually very uh, related to this because oh, okay. I am here on Rue de Chant like Chantal, Chantal. Fantastic, yeah. And oh. as you can see, it looks very spooky. Here, we also had lots of children die in the early 1900s because of a flood. So oh. this, was a, this was a decadence of the hospital next door, the Hôpital Dieu, and the children were all locked up here, and suddenly the water came up, and all the kids were stuffed away because they didn't want to see them. They, they were basically already in quarantine then because there were lots of diseases and they all drowned. And there's one coming. You hear the voices? <gasps> oh. And it's, this oh. is the street name. Scary. Rue, Rue de Champ. And as you can see, because they were all down here, the, the building is renewed. But here we have a sign, Cru Flood of January 1910. Wow. So that's how high the water was. 
and oh, the some kids the were all mm. stuffed, stuffed away down there. So these children you can hear here as well. You hear them scream. You hear them because, hi Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> so just to show you where the stand is quickly, I'm going up the stairs. Do 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 do. Here's oh my the sand. gosh. So that's flooded somehow, and then all these kids. That was really here. a death sentence. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they were super death sentence because they were oh. already quarantined in there because nobody really wanted to have them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but you can see the old houses. But I think we should jump over to you, Bobby. Yeah, so I'm actually quite glad I found quite a creepy place to show you guys. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, look at this, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> with like some like spider web and stuff like that. So I thought, let's be in the mood, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, so I'm on Rue Saint-Paul right now. In uh, Montreal. As you can see, in Montreal. So I'm in old Montreal, actually. And I also have quite some, like, old, kind of industrial-looking, spooky buildings. But actually, so what happened here is, well, actually, there are two known uh, creepy spirits here. Uh, only two that are known, so there probably are more. And what they have in common is that they were both butchered by the same executioner uh, in the 18th century. So they're a little bit older than the children that you guys have been uh, telling of us uh, to, that you guys have been telling, oh my God, <laughs> telling us about so far. Wow, I couldn't <laughs> take that out. Um, yeah, and um, so one man was named Vallier, uh, yeah. and this was in 1732. And uh, yeah, he was uh, framed by his neighbor for something he never did. And uh, before he was, he basically he was this man, this but butcher was the executioner was hired to get a confession out of him. And while he was in his chains, Vallier actually managed to hang himself somehow. And so oh, that's wow. how he died. Oh and wow! And the other story, which is in my opinion, very creepy as well, is uh, Marie-Joseph Angelique. She was an African woman and she was actually like a slave. And um, her, her master was about to sell her to a, an American slave uh, master or trader. And so out of revenge, she burned his estate. Uh, but uh, by burning his estate, she also managed to burn like 40 other estates. So she... <laughs> Kind wow. of got in a lot of trouble for that. Um, <laughs> oh my god! And uh, and the same executioner was hired to to get a confession out of her. Um, and then she was forced to walk through the streets. So this street right here, yeah, uh, with a sign around her neck with the word arsonist written in oh. French. And, wow. uh, and what does uh, what does that mean, arsonist? Uh, like you put fire to stuff, no? Oh, no. your fire starter. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, carved on the very wood that was used uh, to make her master's estate, and uh, and then she was hung and burned on a wooden post, and Ooh, then her oh. ashes, <laughs> just to top it off, were scattered on the streets, and so wow. she's said to be roaming around the streets every. I think it's every seven years or so, something like that. I may be wrong, but yeah. So that's oh, the wow. creepy story about this street. <laughs> that is like, that's scary. That's I super know. scary. And I'm happy I, it's daylight. <laughs> yeah. I, I just want to show you one thing as well. Like when you look through the streets, you see it's very tiny and lots of people pass by Ooh. because it's creepy. Mm -hmm. If you look up, you were able here was sticking up the, the spire of the Notre Dame because that's oh, the Notre Dame but there is course. no more spire no because it's burnt oh. it's burnt it's gone it's oh that's an arsonist <laughs> yeah. exactly so we're all so related to each other with the wow. arsonists and yeah I will show it a little bit better hold on this is good for screenshots wow. Rue de Chante Paris so if you look up, normally, there in the top, 
you would have the, the spire from the Notre Dame. So but if you look on Google, you can find pictures, but it's gone. Well, it's dark now. <laughs> so you wouldn't have seen it. But yeah, crazy, no? So, um, yeah, back to the haunted house of Louise, because I know yes. there is more than only the story of the, of the 43 children, no? Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. It was actually an orphanage at that time. So it was a boys' orphanage. So and there was a um, a nun here called Sister Cecil, and she was the one that was looking after all of the children. So it is an urban myth. There's actually no documented um, record record of the of the fire. But another another story tells us that this was where Sister um, one of the one of the nuns was actually killed saving the children. So it is just an urban legend, as all of these old buildings um, create their stories. They live on in time. It, the building hopefully will be restored one of these days. But I'm going to walk you up a little bit closer because I'm just waiting to see if anybody's going to come out of a door or a window. It's been occupied by squatters and street kids. Oh, really? Um, oh, yeah, because, so... Yeah. And lots of, lots of fires had actually been lit inside, which have destroyed the building. And the crazy thing is, every room has a fireplace in here. But wow. when the squatters were here, they never used the fireplaces. They just lit the fires in the middle of the floor. So the wow. whole building has really, yeah, really been ruined. You can see all the boards, all the windows are boarded up. And we've got um, yeah. a couple of rows of really high fencing around it to stop people going in. Not because they're so scared of it but because it's so dangerous in there now um, I, I have been inside this building uh, many years ago when the or maybe 20 years ago the Tongan church were using it um, and running craft shows and different events in here and it was pretty dilapidated then but it was pretty fabulous wow. but you can see um, it was built in 1886 it's had a couple of name changes it's on a huge property here you can see where the fire has actually burnt out the the top of the um, the top of the roof there. It looks like there was a little turret. Oh wow, that's that's yeah. amazing. That's well, pretty actually, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this area has quite a few spooky stories. Because oh, yes, Ponsonby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your area, but also my area where I am, actually Ponsonby, because it's one of the early settlement places. Yes. I can yeah. Imagine. Yeah. And it's the same with this place here on uh, Ile de la Cité in Paris. This is also one of the early settlements, or the earlier settlement of, uh, of Paris. And basically, when you walk down there, you get to the Notre Dame, and then you can go right. What is again um, the book it's okay. that the Johnny Depp... Oh my God! Oh, oh, oh! They all come for the spooky stories! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, they're ghosts. They're not real. They're just ghosts. Yeah, but this is in English. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's a Dutch uh, Dutch tourist group just arriving to um, to see all this. So, okay, let's move. I'm always embarrassed when I see Dutch people. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Bobby, what was the movie again with Johnny Depp? Um, um, uh, that is the bar. Uh, um, Yes, I know. Um, <laughs> it's with the barber. I don't remember. The barber, the barber guy. Sweetie Tom, thank you, Habs. Yes. Yes. Sweeney. Sweeney Todd, no? Hello? I'm back, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I lose connection every time I'm over there, so uh -huh. I'm just going this way. So Sweeney Todd, the butcher is around the corner here, where the book was based on, because I think uh, Victor Hugo or something was already mentioning something like that. And uh, <laughs> it's a large group of ghosts. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is actually around the corner. So I'm going to try to chase it, but let's continue with the next story. Who, who else has some uh, information there, some booing information? Maybe we can say hello to the viewers as well, because we're totally ignoring them. 
course. Let me turn my camera around. <laughs> Hello, Ronald, Kevin. Hello, everyone. Hello, How's it everyone. going? Hi, guys. Kia ora. Kia ora. Julie, Kia ora. fantastic. Well, nice to see you all. Just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> It's always good to see everybody. Oh, it this is. is also very, very creepy. Hi, Chris. Bill. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> Thank Here you. I still love, <laughs> love the head, Bobby. <laughs> Special yeah, design for the day. Yeah. I just had to run away from the Dutch people because I get so shy. I don't like a real audience because they were all staring at me like. Who are you? <laughs> Can we find you somewhere? And I'm like, okay, I press. <laughs> Wait, let me just turn this around. Hold on. Voila. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't this look creepy? No clue what this is. Let me see. I'm going to check it out. Hi, Laurie. Hey, thanks for joining everybody. <laughs> awesome to see you and boo. <laughs> yep. Very much boo. This is so cool. It's so cool to be with all three of us. Like, <laughs> I like no, I'm, I'm actually enjoying it because I'm watching all the streams. I'm watching the Louise and Bobby because I can do an audience preview. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And it's, it's so cool. Okay. This is this where is the, Sweeney Todd, <laughs> the Sweeney Todd. The oh, Sweeney Todd was based on. Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. I love that story. Yeah. So here was the guest house of the barber. I think they say it was like around about here where the barber would give, would kill the people and then give them to the butcher and oh. they would put, and they were put in uh, steak cachets. Isn't it Bobby? Oh, I thought it was pate for some reason. Oh, you thought it was pate. I thought it was like steak cachet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look, they made it all look creepy as well. Au vieux, au vieux Paris. Even this is like... Oh, ça va, ça va, good. Cool, huh? Yeah, I just want to show you guys this. So that's the Sweden Talk story. It's dark, so everything looks spooky here. <laughs> oh, are you all still there? Yes, yep. Yeah. I'm just showing the area because I'm, okay, I'm loving so, the color. So, <laughs> and the, yeah, the good. city's waking up. Yeah. Oh, because what time is it? Just after 8 a.m. Well, we, we started eight. at 8 a.m. my time, yeah, so it must be, must be coming up 8.30 or so. I'm not sure. Oh, 822. Yeah. So, yeah. guys, of course, um, also famous stories the hunchback of the Notre yes, Dame. Yes, yes. Guy James. And here we have the Notre Dame. And as you can see, it's still standing. <laughs> the Notre standing. Dame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the Notre Dame is still standing. It didn't go anywhere. Um, Look, I'm scared of my own, <laughs> my own shadow. Yeah, so this is like a very haunted, uh, haunted area just because it was so old. And this is the hospital, the Hôpital Dieu. No, it's not the Hôpital, it's Hôtel Dieu. Where, uh, First hospital in the world now. Yeah, I believe it was. You're totally right. So, so cool. that's, that's also uh, <laughs> fantastic. What is Louise showing? Oh, I'm just zooming in on the building. <laughs> oh, I was like, what is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> looks good. That looks very good. Can we still see? Are we too zoomed in or? Carlisle just... House. Yeah. Maybe. I'll do it like this. One. Wow. Fantastic. This is so nice. Yeah, so then, of course, we always end up at the Notre Dame again. 
So do you guys have any questions, any spooky questions for one of the locations we're at? Anybody here? Questions? Because then we can answer them. I'm just trying Love to you. run into one of the ghosts. <laughs> you try. I'm already running into one. Look, I see the shadow on the side. Oh my gosh. You oh see? my gosh, yeah. <laughs> and there it comes again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna ask, you guys are not allowed to answer these questions or to mention it because I have three questions here for uh, the people that are watching and the idea is you are gonna tweet it out to at Haps News um, so tweet it to at Haps News, the answers I have three questions so question number one is, uh, regarding Montreal, what was the name of the male spirit? So what was the name of the male spirit? And don't answer it here, answer it on, the hap, on Twitter and tag Haps News. So what was the name of the male spirit? That's a good one. Yeah. Then we have also um, a question regarding Louise. Um, well, I have a question that was not asked, so I will not ask that question, <laughs> question so quickly <laughs> make it up. <laughs> How many children, says the myth, uh, died in the fire? So how many children, as the myth goes, died in the fire? Okay, there we go. Count, start counting them. <laughs> yeah, start, start counting the ones in the trees. <laughs> start counting them. Um, then, Don't put your answer here. Twitter. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want you guys to not here. Don't put the answer here. You're going to put the answer on Twitter and hashtag um, at Haps News. So at Haps News and then you answer the questions. Uh, the third question, what was the little plate I showed you with which year had it on there? So which year was on that little plate under that name where I showed the height? So which year or which numbers? So the three questions, Montreal, what was the name of the male spirit? Uh, the Auckland one. How many kids in the myth um, died? <laughs> How many kids died? Mm -hmm. And then my question: Which year was on the little plate on the on the little thing that I showed um, with the height? So um, yeah. So answer that to at Haps News on Twitter and I the one who, who has it right we we're gonna collect who's right and then I, I will hustle who who's the right one and you get something sent from me so something are we allowed parents. to answer are we allowed to answer <laughs> you're not allowed to answer <laughs> so three questions you have to have it great and you know why this is such a cool idea because everybody has to watch back <laughs> <laughs> I have all the answers. Very good, Habs. <laughs> Habs News does have all the answers because if you rewatch the stream, you will know all the answers. <laughs> so that is that is like uh, the fun the fun part about it. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that we need to see of the? The haunted mansion is just fantastic. The street is fantastic. So we are on the three most haunted places in Auckland, Montreal, yeah, and in a lot Paris. Of, yeah. Even the trees. I'm sure they get up and walk at night. Look at their yeah. look at their lovely look at their lovely feet. Oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> Wait. Ooh, let I me know. let me check it. Let me check it. Oh okay, wow. Eric. Yeah. That is so I'm cool. sure I'm sure they walk at night. 
<laughs> yeah, here we can go. You know, I heard noises when I arrived. Wow. I heard, I heard noises. They don't so like I'm, being exposed. Well, you, you're not going to take the ghost home. You know what I mean? The spirits so, don't like being disturbed. No, that's, but... That's what you were hearing. Yeah, but you know, I was not, I was not the only one there, luckily. There were, I think they'd rather jump on the back of the Dutch tourists than on my back, you know? <laughs> They'd have a lot more problems if they did on yours than on theirs. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Can you imagine, Bob? <laughs> or you will take one all the way from. Uh, look, here is again something that happened. Hello. Oh, Hello. God, that person freaked me out. Why are people saying things to me? <laughs> this is. <laughs> Hi, Disney. <laughs> Anyone? Hi, Dis. Yeah, we all, we all. Yep. You know. Yep. You want to? I'm flying. Oh yeah. Here we go. You can if you're looking a for bit. a ghost, here he is. Where is he? He's on my screen. Do you see him? In the right corner? Just in front here. Don't you see oh, he's got okay. like three eyes? <laughs> oh, I, I can't even see it. I'm so blind. It's a little ghost. It's maybe because of the ghost. Oh yeah, I can see it. Well, I want ghosts waiting for me, but I'm going to go back to the ghost. Oh, look, a gate. I'm just racing back to go one more time through the creepy street and then but this is also pretty freaky that that burned down eh? that uh, mm. because they who, keep yeah who burns it down because nobody died luckily and churches always were burning down We're going back in the dark, back to the sand river. So when you go over there, they, that is where the, where the morgue was. That was there till 1907, where they fished out all the dead people from the sand, and they would expose, so people could. Espana. Yeah. And <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, a rat! Oh damn it, that was a big one! <laughs> that was a huge rat! You see? I knew it! I was looking for rats! It's a spirit! Finally I got one! It's an incarnation of a spirit! Spirits are sending signs! Excuse me, can you see that? Okay. It's so creepy around here. Okay, this is the street, so we go back in. Can you guys still see me? Yes. Oh, thank you, Solange. I see it. Okay. Going back through the street. Rue des Chantes. Happy Halloween, Solange. Oh, cool connection. Are you okay? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I, tried be, I tried to be scary, stop in the dark! <laughs> the rain was the scariest! Do we have any voices? <laughs> All I hear is... <laughs> I'm sorry. leaving, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm walking away! Oh, I will not show the. I will not show the sign anymore. We can go knock on the door. We have the Halloween weekend coming up. Oh, it's good. A lot of, uh, I I have a couple of costumes ready. Oh, nice. Hi, Bruce. Kia ora. World traveler. <laughs> Everybody's a world traveler today. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, we're Des. In, yeah, we're in two hemispheres, three continents, it's three amazing. different cities. They got three in, time zones. All in one, all in one screen. <laughs> yeah. Hello, ladies. 
I like your head, Bobby. What's that? Thanks. But I saw a rat. I'm happy. <laughs> I think this is the dungeon. They must have. They must have been locked up in here. What do you think? Probably. There's a little hole in there. Oh. I mean, a little kid could have put poked a little finger in there. That is scary. Have any of you ever seen a ghost? <laughs> I personally, I do not think I have. I don't think so. No. Did you ever play those scary games? Oh gosh, no. No, me <laughs> neither. <laughs> Never see a ghost. No, I saw a rat. Does that count? <laughs> Did you ever see a ghost? Uh, I've yeah, I've seen a, like an apparition, an appar like somebody just floating by. Um, oh, I think wow. was my I think was my grandmother wearing wearing oh, a wow. green wearing a green dress um, in the old house where they lived. I've seen that. But has anybody ever played the Ouija board? Do people still do that? Ouija I think board. People, I think people do that, but I don't do that. They probably well, you, do. We used to do it at school because I went to boarding school, so we'd spend all our spare time on the Ouija board. <laughs> yeah. And that's spooky. Yeah. Putting your finger on that glass and just having it moving around. That is pretty yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see here Robson Lopes is like, oh my god, four screens. I'm lost. Don't be lost. It's okay. And you know, my it's grand okay. my grandchildren are really into Ghostbusters. And they've got all the um, Ghostbusters costumes and, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. I Bobby think was every... more, <laughs> Bobby was more into uh, princesses. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Princess dresses. <laughs> what? Are you yeah, too scared, totally. Molly? Yeah, yeah. But we oh, did we some good Halloween parties. It's, um, Des, I think it's spelled O-U-J-I, Ouija. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching it. Ouija, Ouija board. Oh, isn't yeah, that right? Is. O U J I, I think. Ouija board. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There's Chris. Yeah. <laughs> o U I J A. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait, let me just put you guys here. Hold on. Viva España. <laughs> <laughs> fabulous, fabulous to see everybody. Thanks for visiting New Zealand, Montreal and Paris all at the exactly. same time. That's amazing. That's amazing, isn't it? So we just do a uh, shot with all three of us together. Okay. Yes. And then we're going to close the, the, the... Oh, there, there we are. Hold on. Wait, I'm going to turn it around. Hold on. Where are we? I'll there. better put the building in the background. <laughs> oh, the building is there. <laughs> um, I can put like... Yeah, this, it's not so clear, sorry. It's the, <laughs> it's the light, it's the backlight. Super cool to see all three. Yeah, we wanted to do like something special for Halloween. What an all star team. <laughs> yes, and look, guys, I'm wearing my even my HEPS sweatshirt. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, Ricky, <laughs> yeah. Love that. Yeah, it's a good experience seeing four screens from three different cities. Until Messi said, leave me alone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, scary. No. That's no, really look, scary. Look, I just have to, look, I have all my uh, notes. Um, <laughs> so I knew a little bit of your guys' <laughs> streams as well. But let me just, oops. My I have my little piece of paper as well, just so you know. Oh, you also have a piece of paper. We all I was like, I'm not going to remember all of that off the top of my head, so. Yeah, exactly. There we are. We all have... Oh, we're back to me? Okay, hold on. Louise? <laughs> yeah, there we are. Screenshot, people! Screenshot, people! <laughs> we gotta go! We are saying bye from Paris, bye from Auckland, bye Yada, from Kakiti. Montreal! Oh, bye, wow. everyone! Thank you so much! Thank you. Also, it was, fa it was fantastic! Yeah, it fabulous! <laughs> Hey Louise, thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing this, Bobby. And uh, thank we'll you. see you guys uh, very soon. It was a pleasure. See thank you, you so much. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Okay. Bye.
Bye.